Hi, welcome back to our kitchen. Tonight we're going to be having black bean burgers. Uh, so I have cooked black beans in our instant pot. Um, so they're ready here for us to put them together. We've also cooked one ginormous sweet potato. And I've been dying just to cut this. I'm not filming the food. Sorry. <laughs> I've been... I only want to do one take of this. Are you paying attention? <laughs> Am I recording? I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I've been wanting to cut the sweet potato open since I since we got it. Um, I have cooked this in our instant pot. I've steamed it, and it's an orange sweet potato. So I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. But it's just beautiful. This is from Food Lovers. Look at that. Oh, the skin just peels away. Look at that. Just squish it. Beautiful steamed in the instant pot just oh, nice. amazing the color food food so we're going to mash that up and, and mix it with the beans um but we're going to also make in mix in some veggies so we're going to start off so we're going to start off with a bit of water in our pan because we do oil free cooking um so i've just got a little bit of water which i'm going to let heat up and i'm going to use that in place of oil it's really just to get the onions going um, another way of doing it is just by adding some salt and the onions will naturally release the their liquids and they will cook in that obviously you've got to keep an eye on them so that they don't burn you might have to add a bit of water but i'm going to do it my husband's way today and just start off with a bit of water um, and we're going to cook our onions in that then we'll add our garlic and we've got some I've got some chopped up green pepper, I've got some frozen uh, corn, and then I've also got a little bit of Swiss chard, which I've just chopped up finely, and we're going to cook that all up with some spices, and then later we're going to put the burgers together with some oats, and the oats is really just going to help it to, um, to form into those patties that we can then cook either in the oven or the air fryer. We'll figure that out just now. I feel like I'm getting in trouble, but I'm not the one causing trouble here. You have trouble all over your face. You yeah, I know, but I haven't actually done anything about it yet. Mm -hmm. Do you want to cook our onions up? a little while. Oh, trouble. <laughs> Remember, as far as anyone knows, we're a nice, normal family. Time goes fast. <laughs> 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 this is where we speed up the camera. Mm -hmm. So we're almost up to 100, 100 subscribers in less than a month. So we're very, very excited after starting this channel. So we'll be bringing you guys a video very shortly as to who we are, why we started this channel. And you can take it back a little bit more because it's very close to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good you're going to be sitting in the you. sink. You're going to be sitting in the sink just now. I am sitting in the sink. <laughs> Um, but we'll be bringing that through to you soon. Okay, this has started cooking nicely. Mmm, it smells delicious. It smells like onion. And that's when, whenever we have like a child walk through from the bedrooms to go, Oh, that smells good. And usually it's just onion or onion and garlic at that stage. But it smells good. It's like the base of most dishes. Okay. I'll add some water. So I've used a third cup, one third cup of water <laughs> in my cooking so far, just so that you know exactly how much water I've used. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The first and the second cup. I'm here to cause trouble. You know that. That's know. why you get me to record. I know. Yes. It, it is fun. It's, it's much more fun cooking with you than without you. So I'm putting a tablespoon of garlic in. We want this full of flavor. Nice big heat. 
Okay. We got some garlic going. I'm gonna throw in. Uh, I'm gonna throw in the corn, which is kind of gonna help the cooking because it's frozen. So we'll do that, and then. Oh, it was like just as thin corn. Some green pepper. Seriously, you can go look at my Spotify history. It's like corn, it's half thin. I know. It was on so loud we could hear it through the headphones. While that's cooking up, we're going to add some spices. So we're going to start off with some Cajun spice. And I'm going to put three teaspoons of Cajun spice. How did you choose that number? <laughs> I just know how to cook. It's instinctive. One teaspoon of paprika. I actually want these to have quite a kick. So I'm going to put an entire teaspoon. Oh, spray. Is it too much? I did it. I'll tell you later. An entire teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Um, this is what we've got, but you can use any chili powder that you like. I'm going to put some onion powder. Word of warning, if you have Kashmiri chili powder, it's super hot. It is super hot. It is super hot. But I want these to be very flavorful. I'm going to put one teaspoon of onion powder. Why are you laughing at me? Some black pepper. Because you're just about sitting in the sink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't want this too wet now because I'm obviously going to be adding it. Sorry. <laughs> I think I inhaled some cashmere chili powder. Careful, that's not serious. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Get my composure back. <laughs> Sweetie pie, you're crying. Um, no. I'm just kind of a lungful. Alright, so in there I've got my spices, my onion, my garlic, my green pepper, and my corn. And I'm going to throw in my corn with a K and the R backwards. <laughs> no, not that kind of corn. I wouldn't like that. Adding in my chopped Swiss chard, but you can use kale or spinach, whatever you've got on hand. This happens to be what I've got. I just want to cook that down a little bit. I do want this dry because I'm adding it to the beans and to the mashed sweet potato. I don't want too much liquid, otherwise it's going to be very difficult to um, form patties. And I will add some oats as well, but um, mashed sweet potato is going to make it quite a wet mixture. That's the word I'm looking for. Look at that. That's going to knock your socks off. Yes. Yeah. A teaspoon of cashmere and chili butter. A big teaspoon of cashmere and chili butter. It'll be good. It'll be good. We like spice. And I don't have any sriracha, so... I want the burger itself to be spicy. So if you if you don't like spices, obviously tone it down. Don't put chili. If you don't like chili, you can add some other flavors that you like. I think cooking is really about what works for you. What flavors do you like? What flavors do you enjoy? What, fam what does your family like? And, and that's what you lean into. Unless you're trying to teach your kids to eat something they don't like. Because my favorite expression is, lean into it so when they're undecided and they've got that you know i've just taken a bite of something or a sip of something and i'm not quite sure if i like it just lean into it just tell yourself you like it it works that story has backfired on you badly hasn't it because now the kids use it on you they do whenever you don't want to do something it is backfires so every time i don't want to do something they're just like lean into it mom lean into it oh <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> They, they push me outside of my comfort zone too. We're great like it actually. Okay. 
Um, I think it's cooked enough. It's going to be cooking uh, in the oven just now. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to let that cool down a little bit because I obviously don't want to be molding it in my hands when it's that hot. So I'm going to take it off the stove. And I will come back to you once I've mashed up the sweet potato and that's cooled down a little bit and we're ready to mix it together with some oats. All right, so I actually decided to, to let you know what I'm doing. I've taken half the black beans and I've added the sweet potato and I'm actually going to mash half the beans and the sweet potato together and then I'm going to mix them all with the oats uh, and then we've got these lovely rolls. They're not tinned beans, so you know if I used tinned beans, they would have squished a lot easier because they would have been soft. Mine are not, but I've got enough mush here. I had a problem with chickpeas yesterday. They weren't actually. All mush. right, so into my black beans, I'm going to put my mashed sweet potato and the other black beans. I was trying to squish with it. And into that our mixture with all our spices. Okay, this is where I'm going to add a bit more pepper. And we're going to add some salt. Which I haven't done this yet. Mix. <laughs> the mixture is now quite moist. Thought we weren't gonna use that word. No. <laughs> so we're gonna add uh, we're gonna add some oats. I'm just gonna use whole rolled oats, I'm not going to um, pulverize them. I'm gonna use them as is. We'll just see how that goes. If I feel that it needs some ground oats in it as well just to help with the firming up, I'll do that, but I think we'll be okay. Let's see. Alright, I'm going to start off with half a cup. No, actually, I'm just going to put a whole cup in and let's see how that goes. Let's mix that in. I know it might sound strange, but in a traditional recipe you would put bread crumbs in, so this is going to act like the breadcrumbs. I think I am going to put some ground oats in. It'll help just absorb the liquid. What are ground oats? Like as opposed to like tree oats? Yes, my angel. Tree oats. Mm. I don't know where eggs come from. Just you getting putting ground eggs in. So in my grinder, I'm gonna do half a cup. There's oat flour. You can buy oat flour in the stores, or you can make your own in a grinder or in a blender. This is a coffee grinder, by the way, not an oat grinder. Um, well, it's actually just a, a grinder. Yeah, fair enough. So it was bought for us originally as a coffee grinder. I think, we used it. <laughs> I think we used it once or twice for coffee and then it became a spice grinder or oats grinder, a flaxseed grinder, anything that I need ground. This one works beautifully. It does. And it has for years. It has for years. Alright, yes. It's still looking kind of sticky. It is. It is. <clears throat> what are you aiming for when you make burger patties? Like well, something that you can mold in your hands with uh, relatively relative ease. You want it to be able to stick together without falling apart. At this stage... And not stick to your hand double time. Yeah, at this stage it's not going to do that. So I'm going to put another half cup. So we're ending up with quite a lot of oats in it, but it's going to be great. So we've used two cups of oats now, and I think that should probably be a good quantity. We'll start to see it stiffen a little bit. 
the oats also take a bit of time to absorb the liquid, so I'm not gonna be too fast. Our mixture's also still a bit warm. Ideally, I'd actually put this in the fridge for a bit, and that would also help to just make it easier to make it a little bit more pliable. Pliable? I don't think that's a bad word. It's just stomach rumbling. When's supper gonna be ready? It's only 20 to five. Never mind. It'll be ready when it's ready. It's exactly that. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and just let it cool down. Um, and it'll stiffen it and we'll give the oats a bit of time to absorb that liquid and we'll come back before molding it to you just now. Bye. So I've let this cool down in the fridge a little bit. I'm just gonna get a nice little scoop out and let's just see how this molds. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So it's a little bit wet but not too much. It's enough that I can mold it in my hands. And I'm going to put this straight into the air fryer. This is me making a mess. As usual. Grr. <laughs> Don't make a mess. Actually, it's nice all kind big of okay. Patties. Yeah, yeah. So you really just need to put oats until you're able to form patties. Um. Oh, <laughs> fail. I mean. Send me fail. Leave the good on the throat. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to cook all of them and we will freeze whatever we don't use tonight. For, oh, we might not even freeze. I might just put it in the fridge for the hungry boys slash men. In the house. <laughs> so how many is this making? Just enough. So it looks like I've already got about ten patties here. About then, ten. I have ten. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna end up with about twelve. But there's four of us. What's everybody else gonna eat? You're gonna be super filling. You don't need to eat. 12 patties, my love. You'll get a tummy ache. But I can. But you shouldn't. <laughs> That'll probably stop you. That's why oh. you're so skinny. <laughs> I starved him. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in for 15 minutes and 180, and we'll see what happens. See you later. All right, so there we have it, our sweet potato black bean burgers. Um, I've just thrown a bit of salad on the plate. I'm not super hungry tonight. Um, but you can put whatever sauces you like, whatever condiments, whatever sauces you like, tomato sauce, mustard, caramelized onions, whatever it is that you like. Uh, but there you go. I've got my air fryer going with some more. Um, but we're ready to eat, and then I think the balance is going to go into the freezer or into the fridge for another time. So. I hope you'll try this out. I hope you let me know what kind of spices you like to add to your black bean burgers. And otherwise, we'll see you again soon.